so much enjoyment and so many things but ain't no enjoyment in God. God told me I was sitting on the commode. He said, you need to put your give Jesus chair and shirt on. I thought, how am I going to do that? Put it on. I told God when he told me to do the street ministry, he said, I want you to give a sign to put give Jesus a chair on me. And you'll win some more people in a day. Then you will in a year or two. We got such a, a powerful statement on the shirt. And then the members in here ain't giving them a chance. We see this statement all the time. Give Jesus a chance. And I wear it every day. I told God, if you allow me to retire, I'll be a billboard for you. I might not say nothing to nobody about Jesus. But I get the reaction from the eyesight of people. Especially us. We always talk about black life matters, but Jesus' life matters to me. Everybody want to have a rage up mad about Black Lives Matter, but we the one killing each other. But I'm talking about Jesus' life matters to me. God is so awesome. You know what get me? People that don't came here, people that still go here, they think they can walk away from the church when they want to. They think they can come to church when they want to. They think they can drop God when they want to. They think they're in control of their life. They better give Jesus a chance. We've been around this. We've been coming to church, and we come here, and everybody act like they got authority on God. We don't care. We don't care. We don't pay time. We pay time we want to. We get off when we want to. We do everything we want to. We come in here, we don't praise God when we don't want to. When we in, let me tell you what we be in. When we in our little stink. It ain't nothing to deal with God. It's, it's your life that's miserable. So you bring your stink to church. But one thing we understand, and after the sup, say the enemy in him. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou do it, do it quickly. He's telling y'all, y'all, whatever y'all doing, whatever y'all horn after, do it quickly. And this the next verse says, now no man at the table knew what intent he spec this unto them. Y'all don't even know why I'm speaking that unto y'all. But whatever you do, he said, do it quickly. Mitchell found something that I preached one of the first funerals I preached, 
Here today, go on tomorrow. Here today, go on tomorrow. Which one of y'all gonna leave tomorrow? Other day. Because we act like we control God. Jesus life matters to me. And I don't mind suffering for him. When are we going to get excited for God? Huh? Matthew, the fifth chapter. God is so awesome. And I'm finding out that what, why the church and the world are like it is. There's almost 300 some different religions. And all of us finding the one that we like. We want to have our own knowledge of how we want to live. I, I had a chance to everybody be talking about Illuminati. So I just wanted to see what the Illuminati, what the word Illuminati means. People that possess special enlightenment and knowledge. Enlightened one. They want to be knowledge that they got their own mindset that they can tap into stuff. And God's word said, when you've been once enlightened about me. So you've been enlightened, Illuminati. You, you, you've been enlightened. I love God for that. Matthew, the fifth chapter, because I'm going to try to preach hell about this, send you to hell, whichever way y'all want to go. Because y'all coming in here with that filth. And all that stuff. I'm just, I just don't understand people how they can tell me they love God and God died for them. And then they could come to church when they want to, walk away from God when they want to, go do what they want to, don't have to come to church. But then they say they got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 10th verse. This one for me. This message for me. Because everybody can't deal, can't, everybody can't put themselves in this apartment right here. Because they ain't gave him a chance. You gotta be able to give him a chance for this. He said, Bless our day which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Bless are ye when man shall revile you and persecute you. And say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so prosecute, persecuted they the prophets which were before you. O oh, heavenly Father in Jesus. God has come, I come to you as long as I know how. God, I I, I just beginning to see how the world and the churches and the preachers are beginning to do you. God, they got another God. They changing your word when you told them don't change the word, God. But God, I told you I'd be a billboard for you. I told you I'd preach what you, what you tell me to preach. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of, of, of convicting. Uh, I'm not ashamed of condemning because it's not me that convict or condemn. It's your word. And you said, forever, O Lord, thy word is selling in the heaven. You said you the same yesterday, today, and forever. You said, Malachi, you change it now. God, tell your people what you want to tell them today. But use me as your servant. You told me to occupy until you return. God, you do. You do. You do. And God, I forever get a praise. I get a thing because you said if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men under me. God, I come up to the name that is above every name. In that name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, do what you do. And God, we forever give you the praise. We'll give you the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen, amen, and amen. Jesus' life matter to me. Black life matter, white life, white life matter, pink life, all life matter. All y'all sinners in here, y'all life matter to me. That's why I preach like I preach. 
churches that's in, 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 in dealing in witchcraft and all stuff that's against God, y'all life matter to me. I want to start it off by Luke 8. Y'all got to tell me Luke 8 and 21. It said, he answered and said unto them, my mother and my brother are these which hear the word of God and do it. Who you kid people is? Everybody tell me I believe the Bible, my preacher preaching right. Why you preaching don't preach the truth? Why you preaching don't preach from the scripture that I talk about? Everybody got fault and, and stuff with me and how I preach and how, but I deal with the scripture. What y'all say y'all believe? Y'all say y'all love Jesus. He was the word that became flesh. I'm asking y'all this question. Luke 8, 21, get it to your pastor. Get it to your apostle, your bishop. And he answered and said unto them, my mother, my brother, are these which hear the word and do it. So anybody ain't doing the word, ain't no kin to me. Now y'all can say, now, now see, that's hard. See, he shouldn't say that. He, I, I, I. Y'all like y'all don't know the word said that. The word said that. He said, will you suffer for his name's sake? Without complaining? Y'all ain't saying nothing to him. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't saying nothing. My title for my message last week is the answer. Well, I got the answer for last week because I said it's a terrible time for a true believer. So that let me know that y'all that's in between God, that kind of believe God, Y'all ain't having no terrible time. Can I explain that to him, Jeff? A terrible time not getting in debt like you don't got in debt and you ain't got enough money to pay your bill. You had that problem before you came to God. Your man that you got, your man that you cheat with, your woman that you cheat with, have nothing to do with God for mistreating you. Had nothing to do with God. That's your choice. But God is trying to tell us something because we all, he already know we skipping the loop. It said, a man may study because his brain is hungry for knowledge, even the Bible knowledge, but he prays because his soul is hungry for God. Yeah. A man will study to find out what he can by God so he can tell the preacher where he wrong at. We'll study knowledge so we can look important to the, to the world. But we ain't studying the knowledge of change. We just only, you know, just to say, yeah, Psalm 23 said this, and, and, and Philippians said this, and, and all this. But God said, Ted, they just don't understand. As a believer, you represent Christ at all times. That's why you need him. You need him to be with you at all times. But people that say they believe him don't represent Christ at all times. Because when most of y'all leave church, y'all turn into somebody else. You ain't got to say nothing. Y'all ought to look up here and listen. That's why most of y'all going to hell. Because y'all try to be distracted because y'all don't want to really hear what God got to say. But God already know your spirit. God already know. He said you represent Christ at all times. Do y'all represent Christ at all times? Or do y'all tag out? Do y'all take a time out when certain places y'all at, y'all don't represent Christ? Y'all talk to me. Huh? That's why y'all the way y'all give Jesus a chance yet? It said, give Jesus a chance. How many of y'all don't give him a chance? A chance for what, though? Huh? That's what I'm saying. I be proud to wear mine. I be proud to bust mine. I be proud to bust out of mine. And then, you know, I have a little pimp walk with it because I said, boy, look at him. All y'all sinners, read me. Read me. I'm appetizing. Give Jesus a chance. Most of y'all that go to church, give him a chance. Most of y'all in the pulpit, give Jesus a chance to change your life. Because there's no way y'all will be preaching like y'all preaching, fooling God people, if you don't give him a chance. Can't tell me. Say so you represent Christ at all times. Wherever you go and whatever you say, what impression do people have of Christ when they see you or talk to you? When people see y'all anywhere, 
What impression do they have? Who do y'all become? How do y'all act? When worldly people talking to y'all, when worldly men talking to y'all, when worldly women talking to y'all, do y'all let people know y'all with Christ or do y'all change that thing? Start giggling. <laughs> Girl, I ain't seen you so long. <laughs> That's that same cook you was all before. We got some master manipulators in him. We got some deceivers in him, so the deception. We got all that in him. I wouldn't have no part with him. He said, to heal a wound, you need to stop touching, touching it. Everybody won't be healed from sin, but you still keep touching. We want to get rid of, we want to get rid of, but God said, Terry, they ain't right, they ain't right, they ain't right. I love God because he's telling me a lot about us. He said, the modern church is asleep in sin and nothing but a loud voice of persecution will awake them, awake her. That's the only thing will wake them. But God got me talking today because I told y'all a terrible time for the true believer. Today God had sent me to answer that. Jesus was suffering for believers be prepared to suffer. Jesus is worth suffering for. Believe him. Be prepared to suffer. Are y'all prepared to suffer? Are y'all prepared to go through? Huh? Because he was suffering for. That's what I say. It said, worth, moral or personal value, wealth or riches, good or important enough to justify. What is it? Su- uh, sanctify, specify, what is specify? Using the you, euphemists are important as the world, to the world, to a person or a purpose. You know, he's worth, he worth suffering for. The problem with us, we don't want to suffer. He, he, he was suffering for because he died suffering for your redemption. To, to put us back with God. He died for that. But we don't want, we don't want to do it. What is suffering, Pastor Simon? What is suffering? The state of undergoing pain, distress, distress, or hardship. Yeah. Yeah. So when you think about that, all Jesus went through, being yeah. people doing stuff to him, whatever they were doing, rejecting, the same people he healed, the same people he did this for, and the same people sit at the bottom of the cross. Hosanna one day, crucify him in there. What are you saying about him today? What is your suffering? As he's suffering still after he don't die for you, he's still suffering because you crucify him afresh. What, what, is, what is your way of explaining your suffering? Jesus is worth suffering for. Believers, be prepared to suffer. We got to be prepared to suffer. He tell you in 1 Corinthians 15 and 19, he said, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Yeah. Y'all hear that? He's telling us in Corinthians, Paul was telling the Corinthian church, if you stay with Christ, you're going to be the most miserable. Yeah. I thought about Sister Karen when I was up this morning, and I thought about how she used to always tell me, Pops, I, I really want to be in church on Sunday. I, I said, just go do what you need to do. God will move from. So she gave Jesus a chance. She went on and did what she bought to. So she had church, she had church on Sunday. Yes, sir. God will move for you in the house. Jesus is what suffering for. But believe him, be prepared to suffer. Family turn on you, friends turn on you. You just, you just go through. And this is what Matthew 5, 17 and 18 says. This Jesus talking. He said, think not that I come to destroy the law of the prophet. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Huh? He came to fulfill. Everything that's in the Bible, he has came to fulfill. When y'all gonna suffer? The problem with Jesus, he didn't know how to shed his mouth. He didn't know how to keep his mouth closed, glorifying God. And right now, we, we got our mouth closed at church. 
We got our mouth closed at work. We got our clothes, mouth closed with your husband and your wife. You know they're living wrong. You know they're doing wrong. But you won't give Jesus a chance to heal them. Because if you take a stand and do what you need to do, then God can move in and do what he needs to do. There ain't no use of praying that God stop it when you ain't telling them where they're wrong at. He's telling us that because he wants us to know. He said, let your light so shine before me. But we scared too because, yeah, you get to talk about God. They said, you want to bring God to church and all that, this and that. You want to bring God to work and all that. You know, we don't want to hear that. But they tell you how they booty shake. They tell you they had sex with. They tell you how much dope and liquor they smoke. And then all of a sudden, the church shut up. Y'all don't shut up. Y'all ain't came out. I told y'all God wants y'all to come out. Listen to what it said. The early church wanted to know, what shall I do to be saved? Today's church want to know, what can I do and still be saved? What can I, what can I continue to do and, and, and still be saved? Ain't that what y'all want? I'm telling y'all, every young person here, old person here, that's going to hurt the truth of him, God going to put something on y'all tail. It ain't my job to whoop you. God going to whoop a lot of y'all. Because a lot of y'all might not make it out. A lot of y'all might not make it at 30 or 40. All y'all got plans to do what y'all want to in life, but you ain't got God included. I tell them all the time, we trying to plan stuff without God. This is what he said. He said, I am not come to destroy the law. That means everything he told them back then is the same thing now. God opened the earth up when they were going against Moses. He opened the earth up. He said, I'll suck all of them in. And y'all think God won't open the earth up for y'all. He probably open your brain up because you're reprobated or you got a strong illusion. You still all in a ditch. You can't even get out. You can't even get out because you don't understand why you won't, why you can't get right. Why I can't stop this. Why I can't. You got a reprobate or you got a strong illusion. And you ain't trying to get out. You keep touching that scale. He's telling us this. He said, let your light so shine upon the sun before me that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I ain't trying to get no glory or nothing from God. Not, not me take the glory. I just want to be a billboard. I want people to be able to read that I'm for real about God. The only thing people say about me, they say I'm too harsh. They don't say what I'm saying wrong. So you need to ask, if, if, if I'm saying right, even though I'm saying it hard, why your preacher ain't even saying it? That's what I'll be asking. Why my preacher ain't saying it? Why they giving me all this Old Testament preaching? Why they making me seem like I'm in the Old Testament? When the church started, I'm asked on back. This is what he said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 31. He said, I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus. Oh, the Lord, I die daily. He said, every day I turn around, I'm dying or something. And everybody falling out with me because I love God. Because all my conversations with God. Look at dead y'all live. This mess ain't none of y'all because y'all know good and well y'all ain't suffering for him. Y'all ain't suffering for him. The only suffering y'all got is going against God. And he ain't through paying you yet. He said, for the ways of sin and death, he got to, he got to finish paying y'all. Because y'all ain't going to stop sinning. All y'all got something up before God, God going to whoop you. You don't know when you might die because you ain't in control of it. I know how y'all live. Y'all think y'all got God food. This is what he said. He said, Verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or tiller, shall it know why I pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. He said, everything I don't say to y'all, until it fulfilled, I got to keep going with it. Ain't God awesome? Is he awesome to y'all? Huh? I love him, y'all. Y'all might not love him, but I love him. He's so awesome. You cannot stay empty. You are empty, filled yourself with Satan lie or the truth of Jesus. There is no other option. Either you're going to fill yourself with Satan lie or you're going to fill yourself with God. That's no other option. Just like heaven and hell, that's no other option. That's like God and the devil, that's no other option. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't nobody y'all can try to serve 
that ain't there. This is what he said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 30. He said, awake to the righteousness and, not the, and sin not. He said, awake to righteousness and sin not. He's telling the believer, sin not. He said, you got to suffer. You got to kill this thing that y'all want to serve sin. I'm coming to tell you, give Jesus a chance, y'all. Give him a chance. All y'all, you tell me that God can depart the Red Sea, God can stop the rain, God can do all this stuff, God can bring devils on the earth and all this stuff like that, and you tell me that God can't stop you from doing what you did. I'll be asking myself, do I have a strong delusion or have God gave me a rubber baited mind? I'll be asking myself, for everybody that's doing that, if I can't stop watching porn, something's wrong. I got a strong spirit. Here that I got a wife, and I'm getting up watching porn. You know something wrong with you. And then all, all of us in this church, you get me. Y'all think y'all can just do God any kind of way. Don't pay tithe. Don't come to church. You put everything up before God. No, you don't want to come here. See, a lot of us don't got free because we ain't here or we don't got what we wanted, so we free. The wrong. Don't run up on God while you're roaming. <laughs> it ain't going to be good. We ought to hear, huh? We ought to hear life is short. Better enjoy it. That was y'all mama be telling y'all young people that say, girl, y'all is too young to be going through this. You, you, you need to enjoy some things. They don't made all bad decisions. Got pregnant when they were 15, ain't had no hub, still ain't got no hub. And they want you to go out there and gamble. They want you to go out there and promote yourself. Getting high when it shouldn't have been getting high. All this kind of stuff. Huh? That what happened. That, that what happened. He said, how about eternity is a long, a, a long, how about eternity is long, better prepare for you. It's eternity is a long time. Huh? Y'all talking about a short time. But when you die, it's a long time to be in hell for a long time. Huh? You talking about enjoying life, but hell is eternal. What y'all going to do with it? Y'all know this Matthew 5 is the beatitude. Everybody like this. The blessed. Mm-hmm. I went down to the temporary where the eruption come. I ain't talking about no blessings, the peacemaker. Yeah, that's what y'all want to hear. Bless all the poor in spirit. But this is the kingdom of God. No, I want to come down there where I got to do one thing. Jesus is worth suffering for. Terry, you need to be prepared to suffer. Everybody talking about me. Everybody talking about me. My son told me everything that he hear about me is negative. I said, well, you know what? I'm in good company. Everything they said about Jesus back then was negative. And he ain't changed nothing. He ain't changed nothing. He kept putting him in hell. <laughs> that my big brother. Y'all know that, right? This is what he said. He thought at the 10th verse here. Can I start this? He said, bless a day which are persecuted for righteousness sake. No one in Pensacola, no one in this world have no reason to persecute me but because of righteousness. I don't disrespect nobody. I don't disrespect when I go to church. I don't call their name out, but they know who fit. If I told you he would burn up and he tell you don't dream, who that is? Y'all know it's Freddy Krueger. It's the how I describe the uh, incident. It's how I describe the person. You know just who it is. But listen to what he said. Listen to what he said. He said, he said, bless are they which are persecuted for righteous sake. So I'm a blessed man. That's why he's still worth suffering for. Y'all don't want to suffer for him because y'all y'all scared. Y'all don't want nobody to fall out with you. Y'all don't want mama to fall out with you. You don't want your children, your son, your daughter. You don't want nobody to fall out, fall out with you, but you know they're wrong. But now you'll take that same word and put it on somebody ain't in your, ain't your family. You need to get Jesus a chance. If you use this word on somebody else and won't use it on your family, you need to get Jesus a chance. 
If you, if you can okay what your children are doing or what your family members are doing and you don't say nothing about it, you need to give them a change. Then you, you, want, you know one thing, he ain't worth suffering for. If you won't suffer to tell them and you ain't concerned about them and when they roll them up here, you know you ain't told them nothing. Then they going to hell and then you want to cry. What you crying for? Suck them tears up. So suck them up because you should have been on your job. This is what he said. This is how he said this. Is how he said this. He said, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Okay? If that's for the people that suffer for righteousness' sake, how y'all going to get to heaven? That's why you need it. That's why you need a preacher. That's why you need a preacher. I'm telling y'all that's why you need it. He literally said, it said, God is in all men, but all men is not in God. That is why we suffer. Because a lot of us ain't in God. No. No. And we quickly said, oh, he love everybody. Stop pimping God love like it's some kind of whole love. Stop pimping God love like, like it's some kind of whole love. Like, I love everybody. Well, God don't love everybody like that. He just told you he don't love sin. But y'all want to make God some kind of like he a freak or something. Like he just love, oh, you gay? He just love it. Well, why he talk against it? Why is he against it? And then y'all, we got all kind of stuff in the church. Now, I'll be talking about that. We'll be here until tomorrow. This is what he said. God is trying to tell us something. And I love him for trying to tell us because I know we don't want to hear. This is what Philippians 2 and 8 said. He said, being found in the fashion as a man, talking about Jesus, he humbled himself. See, y'all don't want to be that kind of suffering. Y'all don't want to humble yourself because every time we try to correct y'all, y'all swell up. Ain't nothing humming about y'all when y'all being corrected. Ain't nothing humming about y'all from the younger to the old. If you if you young people could, y'all will cuss us out when I talk to y'all. Y'all will cuss me out if you could. I read the, I read the spirit. Y'all ain't studying me, but that don't mean I ain't going to send you to hell. I'm going to tell you the truth and let you make the decision. I'm going to let you grade your own paper. I'm going to let you grade your own paper. I ain't going to grade your paper. I'm going to let you grade. I'm going to give you the worksheet, and then you're going to fill it out whether you're right or wrong. I'm a, you're going to grade your own self. Grade your own self. He said he humbled himself. You see how he did grade himself? He became humble as God wanted him to. He said he became obedient unto death. How many of y'all obe obey what God's word said? Come on, y'all going to suffer. He humbled himself. This is Savior. This is Jesus. This is the word. He, he became humble. He was obedient to death. That's what I told my son. Let everybody keep having to talk about him. I don't give Jesus a chance until I die. Whether they roll me up here, fly me up here, I don't know how I'm going to get him. I'm going to preach like this till I die. He ain't did nothing wrong to me. He ain't, he ain't been wrong to me. Look what he said. He said, and being found in the fashion as a man. Y'all know he just rolled and came down. Through the womb. Through the birth canal. Like we did. And without sin. It was tough enough to know that his God was worth suffering for. He said, like, that's my daddy. He was suffering for. He said, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. He said, that's what he came. He come back and said, in 1 Peter 2 uh, and 21, he said, for even here unto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us. A life? For a life. I had it. He gave it life. Suffered, beaten, spit on, all that, rejected. Just for us. Let me ask y'all one thing. Here today, go on tomorrow. If you die right now, if God called you home right now, where would you be? Y'all can't talk about them young. Where would you be? You, 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 you're old enough to run the computer. You're old enough to make the decision to re reject God's word. I hope all y'all go to hell that don't want to live for God. When you're sitting up here and all this truth. I hope you go to hell. He said, but even here unto. That, that hard. That ain't hard. Jesus said, you, 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 you're a bunch of vipers. 
Huh? What he called him that for? He tell him he was he, y'all y'all want. He said, for even here unto were you called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. How many follow the step? How many let God out of yourself? How many, how many know they follow the step? We ain't on Facebook doing stuff we ain't got no business. We got a lot of people here on Facebook. Y'all doing a lot of stuff y'all shouldn't be doing, and y'all think it's funny. You know why? Because you still a part of the world. You still love the world. So every now and then, I got to show some on Facebook to draw the attention back to me. Because I miss that attention. I remiss, I remiss that uh, ain't nobody coming at me like they used to. They said the Bible is not man word about God, but God word about man. Everybody try to write this how they want to do it. But I found out that I want to be a billboard for them. I want, when I got on the shirt, I want to be Jesus. When I don't have on the shirt, it's, it's Jesus. When I'm on the phone, somebody talking to me, it's Jesus. Everywhere it's Jesus. I sit in the commode butt naked, Jesus. Where them little suits y'all wear? If I put on a European suit, hugging my butt, it better be Jesus. How many of y'all change y'all outfit to change y'all spirit? If you put, if you change your hair right now to how you want it, whatever you want to do, huh? I heard a man say the day that you know when you prepare for God, you ought to prepare for Him at the best as you is. Is y'all listening to me? Huh? I want y'all to adjust and listen to me. Tyson, look up because you need to listen to me. And he said, when he, when you prepare yourself, you know, for all your years, you, y'all women, y'all put y'all makeup on y'all self. So when you come to God, God wants you to be special. But y'all put y'all makeup on for 20, 30 years. How you talk, a song? 46, she been putting on her own makeup. But when she get married, pow, somebody got to put that thing on for her. Because this special. This special, I'm putting my makeup on. This, this, ain't, this ain't fuck. This. You ain't got to raise the stakes up. She got to have a profession to put a makeup on. That's how God be wanting you to do for him. He be wanting y'all to do something professional. That, that's different for him. And that's why he tell you, he wants you to be born again. He don't want the old man. He don't want the old man. And we trying to get God the old man, the one that smoked, the one that hold money, the one that lied. We want that person. God don't want that person. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, if, he said, if any man be in Christ, all men ain't in Christ. But if any man be in Christ, you ought to be new. You ought to give a profession. Ask me what the profession is, y'all. What the profession is? It changed everything about you. It changed your walk. It changed your talk. It changed how you breathe. It changed how you look. It changed how you hear. It changed everything about you. He said, renew the mind. Because if we renew the mind, you change your mind, you change your life. If you change the mind, then the body going to operate different. All y'all in here that's still doing the same thing, your mind ain't been renewed. And y'all a bunch of liars in here talking about you been born again. Ask me how. If I had two vessels up here, two glass, and I had a picture that represents God and Jesus as the vessel, and the water in it is the Holy Spirit, right? God said you got to be filled with the Spirit, okay? So if I pour half of water in one vessel, and I fill the other up to the brim, which one is filled with the Holy Ghost? Y'all better check which one y'all is. Because he told us to be filled. You can see the difference. If I pour a little water in one, half full it, or almost full it, it don't matter. He said, be filled with the Spirit. That's all the way to the bridge. How many of y'all feel? (laughs) 
that when it comes to making a decision, get mad with your husband. Shutting down on your husband, shutting down on your wife, shutting down on your church member. I heard the Sunday school said, we should be able to judge these little matters. So if I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, then I shouldn't act like the old man. Don't want to come to church because I'm mad. Jesus was giving up your life for. This is what it said. And the answer said unto them, my mother, my brother, are these which hear the word of God and do it. So everybody ain't doing it. Y'all know where y'all at. Any of y'all feel almost to the top? You, you know, you almost fool. He ain't say almost feel. He said you got to be born again. Anybody here almost feel? That's what he said. How God is, this is why you need him. He said in Psalm 118 and 8, he said it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Yeah. To put confidence in man. You ain't suffering. If you got confidence in man, you ain't studying God. We ain't studying God. Everybody trying to tell me how they are. Well, I just don't think nothing wrong with me listening to this or me watching this and me doing this. You hear this? It's me. Yeah. Ain't none of it God. Anytime you got confidence in man, all you got to do is drop your hand off. It's me. It's me. You might not say it, man, but it's you. You might not say I got I, I, I trust man, but you trust yourself. That's the wrong person to serve. Trust. He said, he said, look what he said. He said, he said, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For there, for there is the kingdom of heaven. So everybody in the pulpit. All the way back to the door in every poor pit in the world. If they're not suffering for righteousness, if they're not being persecuted, one scripture say that a man speak good of you. The scripture say a man speak good of you, or a man speak good of you, whatever. He said, You better check yourself. That's what God told me. So they ain't speaking good of me. So I'm in good company with Jesus. You know why? You know why I treat him? I gave him a chain. That's why you was able to sell me, because I was new. I gave him a chance. See, I said y'all sitting here, y'all ain't happy about nothing. Because you know why? Y'all know y'all ain't suffering. The only suffering y'all doing is being disobedient. That's the only suffering y'all doing, because there's consequences when you go against God's word. Oh, yeah. Y'all can sit here in church, found up, in church, bothered, in church, being mad. No, no. This is what he said. He come back in Isaiah 40 and 29. He said he give power to the faint. Just in case you were living with sickness, he said, and to them that have no might, he increased his strength. I said, God, you all. When I'm all feel like I'm all by myself, when everybody give me. Real man can stand alone. When I need everybody to stand up for God, I got a problem. I got a problem. It says suffering. It says to undergo, be suggested to, or endure. Pain, distress, injury, loss, death, and no man no death, or any unpleasant pleasant, or bad, or sin. He said, that's some suffering. And a lot of us don't want to suffer. We, we don't want to suffer. We got other things that we think we good at. I just love God because he always explained this to us. He said, he give power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases his fear. Yeah, but when you when you feel like you 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 weak, yeah, like you fell down there. God was already there. He was there for you. Fell. He already know you going down. He already know you going down. You know how I can bag that? You said yesterday I don't need to practice. 
I'm allow God to do this. God said, okay, that's just what I want. Being down. You don't sung your heart out. You don't sung your heart out. You know, he said, save somebody. Y'all ain't say, I can't get saved. Ain't it bad, though, if God don't give you something y'all rub by the man or, or a scorn to lose you, that y'all will never be able to be right? That'll be scary to me. I'll be doing some research. I'll be trying to search some things. This is what he said in Psalm 34 and 17. He said, a righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and deliver them out of all their trouble. Now you tell me he ain't worth something for anybody can deliver me out of all my trouble. And some of y'all sitting in here, y'all scared, y'all scared that even he'll write you a check. Whatever your problem is, he'll write you a check. Now some of y'all, some of y'all barely y'all go, so all y'all think about is the meal next door. See, y'all have missed this meal like Pastor told y'all before. Because y'all y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all ain't focused on this, but you could die empty. Or he could let you eat and get full and still die. I know y'all, I know y'all don't want to hear that. I just, I'm just the one to drop that off to you. He said, Psalm 118 and 6. He said, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Huh? I will not fear. Who possibly I will not fear what man can do unto me. I don't fear that. I don't fear that. Look through the look through the Bible. All of them went through suffering. They were telling me, you better not go back out there talking about Jesus. Get anyone right back out talking about Jesus. Some of them got hung upside down. Some of them got burned and tar, all kind of killed and tar, all kind of, all kind of stuff. How y'all going to die? I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing to my family about God. I ain't going to say nothing to this. I ain't. Shoot, man, I ain't going to bite no devil to my house. I just ain't going to do it. He said, Ephesians 3 and 16, he said, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Yeah. He said, I strengthen with Ain't nobody can see how I strengthen. That's why I don't give him a chance. I don't give him a chance, baby. I'm so loud. I'm so loud. I don't want, I, I want to be a billboard. I want to, if I walk, if I walk away from him, I still want him to be able to see. But my life add up to this. Y'all wear them and your life don't add up too. You know why? You know why? Because half of y'all don't want to win. When I was going to work that morning, he said, will you stand on the corner and uh, protest with me? I said, yeah. I used to stand out there by myself. Been out there some, about 20 some years now, still protesting. And these dummy want to ask, what we out there for? No, they dumb. No, they, no, they some dumb. Listen to what he said in 1 John 2 and 6. He said, he that says he abide in him, huh, ought to him also so walk even as he walked. Okay, if y'all don't give him a chance, how you walk? Who are the y'all still? I mean, I mean, everybody here is so busy, man. Y'all are so busy. Y'all can go to hell out there. I'm telling y'all, it's bad to ignore God or to try to ignore God like you ain't really here. It's bad. These words gonna come back to y'all. I preached on the radio broadcast today. Did y'all hear? Red or not? Here I come. This is what he said. He come down to level verse. In, in Matthew 5 and 11, the beatitude. I wonder how people don't get to the attitude right here. He said, blessed are ye when men shall revile ye and persecute you and shall say all manner evil against you falsely for my sake, Apostle Sim. He said, the battle ain't yours. It's the Lord. Who y'all in? Oh, yeah. oh, some of y'all fighting God because y'all come in with y'all set up. And every time I tell y'all something, y'all trying to look down with a counterpoint. I already don't want. <laughs> I'm just trying to get y'all to come to the fight so I can finish beating y'all up. 
A person won't stand for something, will fall for anything. That's what he said. This is how he said in John 15, 18, and 19. He said, if the world hates you, Terry, you know that they hated me before they hated you. That's why I'm suffering for them. A lot of y'all here hate me. A lot of people don't left the church hate me. Some of y'all ain't, hate, ain't left, but you still hate me. That's okay. But he said that right here. He said, that's the way it's supposed to be. If you was of the world, if you was all right with them apostles, the world would love his own. So the only reason why all these church people hate me and all these people got a problem, they love the world. I'm against the world. I'm, I'm in best candidate. I'm, I'm a number one contender. I'm not going to 15, I'm not going to 15 to 10 or not. They can be 160 contender. They can be 600 contender. If they get in the ring, I'm knocking them out. I'm the number one contender. Bring me your best or bring me your worst. Any way it's coming, I'm knocking them jokers out. I don't make no difference. I ain't taking a light on them. I ain't trying to go 11, 12 rounds. I ain't trying to punch them. I'm condemning them quick with a punch. Pop. That's what I'm doing. Pop, pop, pop. That's it. Hey. Uh, in Steve. Paul Silver, Steve. That's what I'm going to do to y'all when I send y'all to hell, Steve. I'm sending y'all to hell. I'm sending y'all to hell with the truth. I'm telling y'all. Y'all think I'm playing. God, truth will send you to hell. That will condemn you. That will, that will condemn you. That will uh, convict you. The spirit that God had blown in every man is what convicts you. Y'all think y'all, y'all think y'all be mad at y'all flesh. That be y'all spirit, man. Yeah. Telling you, fool, get up and do something. And y'all sit here frustrated, mad with me for giving you a lifeline. He was something to me. Then what he said. He said, if the world hated you, you know it hated me before it hated you. So all these churches got a problem with me? They hating God. Because if y'all can't say nothing about what I'm doing wrong, or I'm living wrong, and y'all don't imagine me because how I preach the word, is it the truth? He said, if you was of the world, the world love his own. But because you are not of, not of all these other churches and other junk and other foolish, in other religions, huh? But I have chosen you out of the world, huh? That the world hates you. Say they're gonna hate you. This had God said in First John four and four and two and four and five. He said, "You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He." That is in you, that he is in the world. And here we are trying to keep up with the world. Child, everybody doing it. Every, every time I look on Facebook, my friends, them, they doing this. Every time I look on Facebook, my family and them have a great family union. Hey, when I do, and you don't want to do nothing with the church. When I go to work, when I go to work, I, I, I just, I, you know, I just feel like I don't need to really say nothing about God, especially not all mess. I watch some of y'all when it comes to posting the thing. I guess y'all had to think about it after a couple of days to post. I guess that, but you, you know, when you when you get in a word like this, you ought to be trying to get out of that because the world needs it. The world needs it back. Then what say? He said, "You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world." They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. Yeah. That is what they do. Sometimes we can walk so deep in rebellion that we believe that correction is actually attack. Yeah. We rebel so bad that the word of God become attacked. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you I love you. I can tell you God love you. You feel like it's attacked. Because you know what go with love, right? If you love me. 
So you gonna, your mind going to take you back that if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You'll say, he's trying to tell me God loves me, but he know I ain't keeping his commandments. That's your problem. That ain't my problem. Addiction doesn't care who you are. It just won't to destroy you. Any addiction y'all got is here to destroy y'all. It's with your mind, how it is, and all that. It's here to destroy you. Man, I'm telling you, God is so awesome. He said, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. He said, rejoice and be exceedingly and glad. He said, for great is your reward, Apostle Simon. Suffer for me, but great is your reward. Everybody can reject you, except but great is your reward. Look here, look here, let me tell you how it is. We listen to the broadcast from, 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 from 2014, and it sounded like I was talking today. The same thing I was telling the church on the radio is the same way the church don't got worse or not. The broadcast, the few I did, him the day going tomorrow, the same thing I was telling people. You got to be born again. I can't talk to Terry. How long that been ago? The same word. That's why the word don't change. Y'all hear 11989 forever. That proves you that I'm from God. It hadn't changed. A message from 2014 sound like I'm talking today. And here y'all want to act like I ain't from God. I know where I'm from. I know where my home at. I don't need none of y'all to validate me. He said, it just won't destroy you. It won't destroy you. God doesn't care who you are. He just want to restore you. God want to restore you. He do. I love God, y'all. I don't know where y'all mind at. I don't know what y'all feel. But I love him. This is what Deuteronomy said. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. He said, be strong. And of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, yeah. he it is that do it. Go with thee. He will not fail yeah. thee, yeah. nor forsake thee. Yeah. He said, Tear, go. Yeah. No matter what they say. God said, Tear. You got to put on the gift you said. I'm like, God, how am I gonna do? I'm gonna find a shirt trying to get it to match the road, cause you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm scraped down down through the middle. I'm like, man, this thing, I don't know if they're gonna look right. I'm like, I, I mean, how am I gonna do this, man? But my success is obey him. I wouldn't care would have been Pete. I was gonna have on one. <coughs> I was gonna have one. He didn't tell me what color. He just told me to get on. I believe it was caused of the blood. What y'all think? This is what he said. He, he said, and he answered and said unto them, Luke 8 and 21, and he answered and said unto them, <clears throat> my mother, who your mama is? My brother, who your brother is? My sister, who my sister is? My cousin, who my friends is? Huh? These which hear the word, of God and do it. Ain't nobody just go to church. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. This is what it said. He come back in one, first John 3 and 1. He said, behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. He told me them don't gave him a chance. Now all y'all in here, son, all y'all, no, 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 Cam, no, no, Cam. All of them in here. You know, they got some bastards. <clears throat> <clears throat> so just because you're him don't mean you're his son. How many of y'all, his sons are daughters? <clears throat> it's a dazzling, my Lord. Mm-hmm. He, he, he talking to him. He said, he said, Terry, he said, rejoice and exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. <clears throat> for so persecuted they the prophet who were before you. Say they prosecuted them too, Terry. Yeah. Say they did. 
Luke, in the ninth chapter, 22nd verse, he says, saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things. He already told him, he said, Jesus, you're going to suffer many things. He told Paul, Paul, you got to suffer. You got to go through a lot for me. From Matthew to Revelation, all through from Matthew to Revelation, a number of suffering. <clears throat> That's why everybody stay in the Old Testament. They stay in the Old Testament because they can fool them people that go to church that don't want to hear the truth. They can tell them all the story. But when they stand before God, they told me today, that I see why they put you on the radio. In, in, 20, in 2023, they understand the day. So I know why some of y'all leave the church and don't want to come to church. I understand why. But you know one thing about y'all? Y'all don't mind lying. Because <clears throat> I told you what the Holy Ghost means is the one he gives to them that obey God. So all y'all raise y'all hand, y'all telling me that y'all obeying everything that being said. That's what y'all telling me. So y'all y'all still ain't heard what it says. So it got to either be a strong delusion, huh, or you got a rubber bait of mind. That y'all ain't here that, the, that Acts 5 and 32 said, for witnesses, he gave this to the one that obeyed him, the Holy Ghost. And all y'all say y'all got the Holy Ghost, then why y'all ain't operating in what we should? Well, I'm going to let that lie stay with you. I ain't going to pierce y'all on that lie. He said, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected. I got to be rejected in Plymouth Cole. If I'm going to be, Jabba, you got to be rejected. Mister, you got to be rejected. Evangelist, you got to be rejected. Pastor, you got to be rejected. Elder, you got to be rejected. Mac, you got to be rejected. And any of y'all that stand on to, you got to be rejected by your family member. It's in the book. Yeah. It's in the Bible. You got to be rejected. Yeah. Now, all y'all kissing cousins with your family. This is what he said. He said, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elder, the church, the chief priest, the scribe, and be slain. Y'all hear that? Y'all see that? And be risen, raised the third day. Now, this is what I want to get to. And he said to them all. What, what, what Jesus said to them all now? If any one of you come after me, if any one of y'all on John Cornerstone and come after him, you got to give me a chance. You got to give me a chance. Uh, 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 I don't, I don't see all hands clap. He said, you got to give me a chance. He said, at first you got to deny yourself. Now all y'all got the Holy Ghost. Have you denied, denied your want and your desire? Y'all Holy Ghost people, I'm talking to y'all right now. Look up here. Everybody look up here for a minute. All y'all that say you got the Holy Ghost, have you denied yourself? Put the hands up. Put your hand up. Have you denied yourself? Put your hand down. What about yourself you deny? This is what he said. He come back in 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. This is what I'm talking about, how God wants us to, he was suffering for. He going to protect us in our going through. And that's what God trying to tell you. I mean, you know what he said? He said, a believer be prepared to suffer. Look what he said in 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. He said, he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. Yeah. It's sufficient, job. I don't care what you go through. I don't been through this, your dad. It is sufficient. Everything that you're going through, I've been through it. I don't pass the test with flying color because why? He is worth suffering for. He was your family leader. He was your family, your friend leader. He was everybody talking against you. He was suffering for, but he told me, Terry, my grace is sufficient. Tell me he was suffering for. He said, my grace is sufficient for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you breaking down, when you can't stand strong, when I'm weak, he said, Terry, my grace is efficient. When you feel like everything is against you, everybody against you, the church don't want it, they don't act like they love you no more, they don't talk to you, they don't do nothing. He said, don't worry about that. My grace is finished. One time God told me, don't you, don't you look for them to pin to open that church. 
Don't you depend. We were making four, almost $2,000 every Saturday. We was in that building. This building was open. And God told me, I want you to stop selling dinner. I don't want them people to open the church. I'm going to open it. You know, the people told me, they left the church and told me the church wasn't going to open because I ain't had no member. Stop. Yeah, that's good. Whoop, there it is. And then they got to come back and look at the masterpiece. He ain't doing it almost like a little storefront. I'm going to tell you what it's like. And don't y'all take the person. It's like going in a rich white folk neighborhood. Rich white, white person how, you know, kept clean. Because, you know, most of these churches ain't clean right here. Y'all don't be in the sun. Y'all don't be in the sun when the commode is brown right there. The yard ain't cut. The building raggedy. The pew raggedy. All that. Y'all don't be in that. But God is God of excellence. He said, here y'all live. Won't take care of your own house, but my house look like a mess. If y'all would have caught me some while back before we started, we got this house straight, that's when we started fixing our house up. We had an order. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. God ain't through going to make these jokers sick. He told me, Dad, Terry, I got something to show these people about you. They don't know you. He said, he said and he said unto me, Terry, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity. I will glory, really glory in my suffering. I will glory in my hurt. Then for y'all to exalt me, y'all keep on keeping me going after God. And y'all keep doing me like you're doing me. That God can keep me strong. And I don't give him a chance. My heart desire. I don't care if man feel about me. I don't care if my family. I don't care if nobody don't care about me. God do. He don't prove to me. He don't, he don't prove to me. He said, and he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. All y'all got the Holy Ghost. What y'all doing with that one? Let me read it and break it down to you slow. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. First question, have y'all denied yourself? Have you taken up your cross daily? Every day you get up, it's about Jesus. Ain't nothing there before him, it's about him. I ain't talking about what I thought about him. Uh -uh, damn, uh -uh, uh -uh. He said suffering, taking up your cross. You're going through. Huh? You ain't trying to, but I got in my flesh. No, 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 no. You got your cross on. When you got up out the bed, you put the cross on your back. He said, and follow me. Listen to what he said. He said, for whosoever will save his life shall lose. Whoever won't stand up for me will lose their life. Talking about they with me. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. He said, for what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? What y'all gonna, gonna do? Having all the money in the bank and then you die. Like he told him, fool, this day I desire. Yeah, I desire your soul. He's talking about making more bonds. He's talking about getting all the bank. All the bank got the best interest rate. Putting your money in the bank got the best interest rate. But God said, this day, fool, I desire your soul. Who's going to enjoy that money you put up there? You ain't got nothing in the bank for God. You ain't got no overtime for God. All your overtime is for the world. Don't tell me. Want to talk about me. Man, what man, please. I ain't saying y'all. He said, for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my word, of him shall the son of man be ashamed of. He said, I'm going to be ashamed of him, They can't do me like that. Well, I, I ain't, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that, Pastor. Second Corinthians 14, 16, 17. He said, for which cause we faint not, but do our outer, outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. This old shell might crush us, 
This old shell might be messed up, but the inner man, he renewed every day I get up, every day. You know why? You know why he renewed, Chad? You know why he renewed me every day? Because I give him a chance every time I get up. Every time I get up, it's about him. If I didn't get up, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be nothing. If I didn't love him like that, it wouldn't be nothing. Every day I'll be miserable. That's why most of y'all days is miserable, because you haven't gave him a chance. Every day, y'all give him a chance on Sunday. Friday, Wednesday, when y'all on your own time, he don't have that same chance. Jesus is worth suffering for. Believe him. Be prepared to suffer. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Beginning at the 33rd verse, he said, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. I ain't going to say nothing about Jesus, little people. Man, I ain't saying nothing in Bible study in Sunday school. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got to say nothing because they telling me I'm going to say something. That's the nine. I don't care what you said to him. I don't care. Ain't no way you could have, you could be the best and knowing that you got the best and then knowing that you don't study this. But then we ought to have everybody hand up trying to say something. Whether, whether you get a chance to say something or not. You tell me you don't study all week and then you ain't, you ain't on fire to be able to say something about Jesus, that, that something about him. You, what, what's wrong with y'all? You talk about everything. Soon the church get up. Y'all get in them little group. Hey, 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 hey. You, you what this do? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what that is? That's your own stuff. Get in service, over. Just like we, we went back in the room with all the men, ain't nobody talking now. Ain't nobody talking about the boy, but who came in there? But everybody was talking when we went in there. What happened that y'all got to shut up now? Something wrong with that picture. Let me get to this, because y'all trying to hold me up. He said, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace. God said, everybody act like I come to send peace, like y'all trying to make me a weak joker. I ain't come for peace. Oh, 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 God is loving. Well, won't y'all, won't y'all tell y'all pastor to preach from this? Matthew 10, 34. He said, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. I came to walk. He said, I came to walk. And anybody that's with me, they ought to be having the same mindset. I come to walk. How many of y'all come to walk? Y'all see that military robe I be wearing? And y'all ain't went, y'all ain't went to walk yet. And I told you there's a war inside y'all, but y'all ain't killed nothing in you yet. You ain't killed nothing in you yet. You're shooting blanks at yourself. Shooting, out, shooting everything you want to shoot at me, but you're shooting blank at yourself. This is what it says. Didn't that God said it? He said, I am come. To set a bear against his father. I'm, I, I come to set a different. He said, and the daughter against his mother. For all y'all that say y'all born again, say y'all love God, and no matter who do wrong around you, you all right with it? You ain't saying nothing about it? You ain't coming up against it? He said, he said, listen, he said against his mother. He said, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He said, and a man fold, fold a person who feel an enemy, hate, uh, malice toward another enemy a bitter. He said, a man fold shall, shall be they of his own household. He said, he that loveth father and mother more than me. This is red, y'all. He said, not word of me. He that will not to separate, he told Abraham, come out from among your kingdom. What I want to do with you, I can't do with that. Now come out from among them. And here y'all live. He said, light and dark and have no dealing. Y'all don't want to suffer. Y'all don't want to suffer. Well, that y'all don't understand. You know that, mama. 
Yeah, I do understand. I love my family, but I ain't going to hell for them. I ain't going against God's word for them. I ain't doing that. If they good with me, come around, preach the hell about them, then we, they, let's do it. He said, let, let me say, let me say, let me, y'all listen. He said, he that love father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. How y'all gonna add that to y'all? Says I love you, not that much. Not that much. Trina, I love you, not that much. Cora, baby, you the best thing that happened since side bread, but not that much. He said, he said, he said, and he that take not his cross, y'all hear that? He that don't take his cross, he that don't take his cross, he that don't, and follow me. Y'all got y'all cross? Did y'all get it this morning? Is it heaven? He said, follow me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. And he that loses life for my sake finds it. Where y'all at? Say something, y'all. Say something every now and then if y'all want to holler. Say something every now and then. First Peter uh, 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 2 and 21. He said, for evil here unto two. Were you called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. He said, who did no sin. Uh-oh. He said, we should follow that. Hey! Hey! He said, who did no sin. Neither was in the gal found him out. Child, y'all, y'all go off galling y'all mouth by me. So I know that I know the other members don't stand a chance. Y'all mouth can't be shit. No law. He's talking to us, though. As I get around here and start bringing the ship in, he said, Marvel not, my brother, if the world hated you, know that it hated me. Mark the 8th chapter, beginning at 33 verse, 34 verse. It said, and when he had called the people unto him, with his disciples also he said unto them, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall be saved. But what profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul, and what will a man have changed for this gospel? What would a man have changed for the truth? What, what would he have changed for the truth? That's what he said. What would, you, what would he have changed for the truth? He's telling us that because God trying to get our attention. God is so awesome. And I ain't going to say nothing to y'all grown up people that don't want to repent. Acting like y'all got a slap going on, like y'all ain't been doing, y'all been all right with God. I ain't going to say nothing to y'all. God doesn't send anyone to hell. He just honor your choice. He ain't send none of us to hell. He just honor our choice because he going to let us have it. Because we got our own mind. God, you're awesome. And he answered and said unto me, them. My mother, my brother, are these which hear the word of God and do them. He said, that's my brother. And after the sup, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou doest, and in your mind, do it quickly. He said, do it quickly. Everybody think they can do what they want to do with God. And let me just tell y'all, a lot of people, so many churches is beginning to be put up in Pensacola all over the world, and no one is still putting up that, that glorified God. <coughs> God is trying to tell us something. He said in Colossians 1 and 24, who now rejoice in my suffering? For you to fill up that which is behind 
of the affliction of Christ is my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. <clears throat> he said, when you go through, you're going through for the church. Jesus is worth suffering for. Apostle Simba, prepare to suffer. Don't run from him. Prepare to suffer. First Thessalonians 3 and 4 says, For verily, when I was with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and you know. <clears throat> From Matthew to Revelation, it's all about suffering. God told me, tell you got to put on that Give Jesus Tan shirt. Because when I talk to you at 4 o'clock that morning and I ask you what you're doing, you've been faithful to <coughs> People ride by. You don't know how many people you witnessed to. Because all they got to read is give me a chance. And we sitting in here year after year. I heard somebody ask how many years you've been in the ministry. Some of y'all still ain't gave him a chance. Yeah. He's been a blessing to me. Yeah. He got all of me. He got all of me. Look what he said. He said, what? He said in Thessalonians uh, 1 and 5, he said, what you a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. He said, Terry, it's a blessing for you. I said, God, I hear you. I'm here to receive. I'm going to be there to receive you. I'm not going nowhere. He come back in 2 Corinthians 1 and 5. He said, for as to the suffering of Christ abounded in us, so our consolation also abound by Christ. Oh, my God. I said, God, you're awesome. Y'all hear awesome, God? And as many as desire to make a fair showing in the flesh that could frame you to be circumcised only lest they should be suffered, persecuted for the cross of Christ. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. God is trying to tell us Jesus is worth suffering for us. I'm prepared to die if it come to me that I got to die. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ not only to believe on him but also to suffer for his sake. Not only to believe on him but to suffer for his sake. And as I close for all you that feel like you can walk away from God you can talk against God. You can talk against Cornerstone. You can talk against Apostle. You can do what you want. You can pay tithes. You can do what you want to. You can do it your way. You, your God. Illuminati. He said, after the sup, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou do it. He said, do it quickly. Meet your maker. Why do you expect to be better treated in the world than Jesus was treated? Right now today, 2023, they still talk about Jesus like he ain't nothing. So there's no way that you should be treated no better or better than him when he said it is in word. The servant not greater than the law. Jesus, from Apostle Simon to the whole world, he is worth suffering for.